All right, guys, welcome to another stream here. What I want to do today, uh, I kind of want to do kind of like a quick streamy tutorial kind of thing where I'm going to show you how to uh, set it up so you can have on a giant, like, just imagine just like, you know, those jumbotrons at sports events that actually like broadcast uh, action of the game or whatever. Uh, it does it live. I want to do that here with our character and have our character kind of show up on a jumbo a jumbotron using uh, rendering targets, things like that. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm um, kind of do this. Uh, not, it's not really pre-planned. I've already done this in my physics 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 gun level, uh, but I'm gonna try to recreate it here for you. Okay. So let's do that. Uh, so the first thing I want to do, I want to do our scene setup here. So let's find a plane. That looks good. Let's grab another one. This one, yeah. This is the one we were looking at before. Let's just drag that out. And there we are. Uh, let's just expand it. <clears throat> Make it bigger. Let's go into our normal access. Yeah, there we go. And let's leave that right there for now. Uh, what else what we'll need is if we go to our content browser, let's go to actor classes. I believe it's under... Um, let's see, actually I don't remember. It most likely will be under uncategorized. Let's see. I believe we're looking for the scene capture 2D actor. It should be a camera. And we found it. Okay, cool. So let's just put this into place. All right. That's good. Uh, last but not least, what we'll need. Honestly, we have a player start because we're, we're opening the generic level here. Um, so what I want to do now, uh, if we go into our content browser, let's... I'll just put into our physics gun uh, environment. But what we need to do is we're going to right click and what we're going to need is a new texture render target 2D. So I'm just going to put this into our um, physics gun materials just to have it there. Um, I'm going to delete it after this tutorial is over, but I'm going to call it tut underscore. I don't know. Jumbotron. That should be good. And now what we need to do, having this selected in our content browser, let's double click in our camera actor here. It's our uh, scene capture 2D actor underscore zero. Uh, and under texture target, we're going to hit this green arrow just to select the Jumbotron there. So let's do that. And there we go. And next what we're going to do is we're going to mess with some of these um, settings in here. Uh, for our capture 2D actor. Um, so what we'll need to do, the near plane will make one, and then the far plane, uh, we'll probably do like an infinite number. Not too sure how high this goes. I'm just gonna put a large number in. Uh, that didn't work. To enable fog. Um, See field of view. Ah, oh, there we go. We just need to update that. Let's put field of view back to where it was. All right, cool. So there we are. We can see our render tar target cube. You can see the clouds moving a little bit, so that's cool. Um, so last but not least, what we need to do here is we gotta create a material that this render target will be attached to. So let's just go right click new material. I'm just gonna put it into this material section. Let's do mat underscore uh, jumbotron. Cool. And now in our editor here, let's get that texture target. Drag that in there. And then we're just gonna put that to diffuse. Let me just expand this out a little bit more. So we have our plane set up in here. So if we put this into the diffuse, we'll see it going. See how you can see the clouds kind of move in there? Let me expand this out some more. Like the clouds are moving, it's capturing in real time. Obviously there's gonna be 
um, some over overhaul in order to do this. You don't want to use it in a lot part of your levels, um, but it's a really cool effect. And I'm just so going to plug this into a missive just so it glows a little bit. Actually, what I'll do, I wonder. No, that doesn't do anything. I'll leave it just like that for now. Uh, make it a simple material here. Now let's grab that material. Let's select our plane. And then under, there should be a rendering here, materials. Let's just plug in our Jumbotron material. And there we go. So let's save the package for now. And now what we need to do, we're going to do some special setup here. After this is done saving, we're first going to just jump into the level and look at it and see, like, oh, it works, and just make sure it works. Um, so right now it's just taking a second there. So let's go to View, World Properties, and then under Game Type, let's just go to UT Game. And UT Game. And basically if we jump in, you can see uh, there's us on the Jumbo Drive. are like, yeah. Jumping, we're jumping. It's like, yeah. <laughs> so we know that's working. If you want to change the resolution, um, what we'll need to do is actually go into the render target texture, uh, which is in here. What we may need to do is if we uh, double click on it, it should be us uh, for size instead of 256 by 256. We could do 512 by 512 just to make it higher resolution so it's not pixelated. See, it's a little cleaner, but obviously, the higher resolution you're going to put in, you know, the more it's going to need to render and it might affect performance and things like that. But, you know, if, as long as you use it sparingly, it's not going to do too much there. Uh, so, the last thing I want to do, I want to do something kind of cool here. I want to position the camera behind the player here and there's the camera and the last thing I want to do here is the kismet let's do new event let's do uh, player, player spawned uh, let's just do that a couple times uh, max trigger to zero just so it does it infinitely what we're going to do is we're going to do uh, new action actor and then attach to actor the attachment is going to be our sorry this could be our 2d render uh, capture actor here this can capture to a D actor so let's right click and put under attachment here now our target it's going to be your player so put that in and there we go so I'm curious what this is. as you can see whoa That kind of looks weird. Kind of like stops. As you can see, it kind of follows our player. For some reason, it sees stops. And so we know it's working a little bit there. But I'm curious why he's stopping. That is strange. But let's get a little closer here. We see that it's working, which is really cool. I'm not too sure why he's just... Unless that's how the animation looks when you're moving. I have no clue. Let me do behind the view. Yeah. That's weird. But that's kind of interesting. Now that I put him behind the view, you know, his animation's working properly. But if you were in... Uh, if we hit behind view again, I think we're brought back to first person. And if we notice, like, after a while, the animation just stops. That's weird, but once we go behind view, we actually see the character some more. No matter what, he keeps moving. 
That's pretty cool, didn't know that. I guess that's just a way to save some sort of performance on, uh, on one end of it. Yeah, that looks pretty sweet. You can see her on the Jumbotron. Girl, girl. Faint. <laughs> Taunting. <laughs> That's weird that you don't see that effect, though. Nope. Oh, I kind of exit out. Whoops. You see it when you're third person, though. Not That's so strange. That's pretty cool to know. Team say, how do you get on the hoverboard? That's how you faint. What a weird mechanic. I wonder if we go behind you and do that taunt, we'll see it. Yeah, that's so weird. Hmm, that's interesting though. He's crouching. <laughs> Mm. That's cool though. But now we see we're on the Jumbotron, everything's cool. Um, so, this was a relatively short stream, but you know, had some useful information in it, uh, I think at least. So, let me know what you guys think. Um, really quick, I'm just going to recap everything just in case. Um, the first thing we needed was this it's a scene capture 2D actor. Um, you can find this in the content browser under actor classes, uncategorized, and then down here, scene capture 2D actor. Uh, you need one of those. I see you need a player start, uh, but one of the more important parts is you need some sort of projection screen or wherever you want this uh, video, like live gameplay, whatever you call it, just to project onto. So I just made a giant plane just as a Jumbotron kind of example. Whatever yours is going to be, just make sure it exists in the level. Uh, from there, you just need to go into whatever your level package, wherever you're going to save uh, information to. Uh, real quick, I'm just going to save mine. Um, so you need to go into the, your package. Uh, you're going to right click and then do a new texture render target 2D. It's going to ask you to name it. And then it's going to give you one of these. Uh, you can change the size 512 by 512. If you want more low resolution, make it 128 by 128, 256 by 256, just depending on your platform, your constraints, things like that. And then from there, we keep this selected in our content browser, and then our camera needs to have a target where it will render live texture, I guess. I, guess, I don't know how you really would say that, but it'd be basically a recording, but it needs something to project it to, which is going to be our texture render. Uh, target. So we plug that into our texture target. So you hit the green arrow with that selected, just boop, and then it, it appears there. Once you have your texture render target, you just need to make a new material. Um, so let me find that material. Uh, let's see where I put that. Put it here. And basically, my material, for simplicity, is just the te texture target render in the diffuse. You can make it fancier if you'd like, uh, but that's really it. The only thing extra I added was just going into Kismet here, having a player spawned event. Uh, every time he spawns, this scene capture is going to be attached to him, so it's basically filming him falling around like a camera. Um, so I just attach that to the player. Player 0 is going to be your initial player there. Um, and that's basically it. Um, let me know if you found this useful, you know, I thought it was interesting, I had to look it up myself when I had to do the uh, physics gun level there when I had the four different monitors kind of recording different parts of the level, kind of make it seem like someone was watching or something like that. Um, so once again, you know, thanks for watching guys, you know, subscribe if you haven't already, if you like what I do. Um, like the video if you liked what I did here, uh, comment with questions or, you know, cool things you did uh, using this lesson here. Um, and let me know if you like the format here, because, you know, I'd rather do more relaxed tutorials instead of just having stuff pre-planned and everything like that. I kind of wanted to wing it and learn along the way as well. 
Uh, so let me know what your, what your thoughts are on this. Okay, guys? Thanks for watching.